Hello in YouTube land, this is Sarah and it's time for another adventure of being Sarah. And today's episode is a weekly velocity video. Well, I don't know if it'll be weekly, but I'm going to try to film on Mondays, but I can't promise if that will continue. But I have a little bit of haul, even though I don't like hauling at haul. It's like I got stuff. Anyway, um, but I know people like to see that. I, I have nothing exciting, but you know, whatever. And then I have um, I have a couple finishes that did not make it into the finishes video, which was a lot longer than I thought it would be. I'm like, wow, I finished a lot over the past quarter century. Um, but uh, yeah, one of them had gone flying from the uh, box of pretties, and I discovered it later. I'm like, oh, hey, you were supposed to be in that box. That's where you went. <laughs> And then um, another one, I was looking for something in the drawer in my little, um, well, it's, it's sort of like a tall table nightstand type thing. Um, it has a little drawer in it, and um, sometimes stuff gets just put in drawers. <sighs> you know, stuff happens. Um, let's see, and then I have, um, I have some new starts, and I have things that I worked on. So, here we go. So, I guess... What I'll do is, I mean, okay, with the haul, it's going to kind of be a little interspersed with, like, the stuff that I had started or whatever, or predicted. I also have a few predicted things that I want to work on. But I'm going to start with the um, finishes I found. Um, the one, please, uh, please forgive the uh, stain in the corner. I have no idea what happened to it. This is from 1992. <laughs> So stuff happens, um, but this was this was the one that had gone flying, um, which should have been in the previous finishes video. I do not have any of that editing magic, so it's going to be in this one. So here's the stain, but uh, this was my first big big uh, project that I ever did because it was so much bigger than a piece of corn. And I had gotten a couple of the Precious Moments um, ornaments, um, leaflets. I think they had like 50 or 30 or 50 or something like that. Um, it's, just, it's the same, I can't remember if it's the same book or the companion book to the ballerina one that I did. I think it's the companion book. But uh, yes, yeah, so I was like, oh, it's a cute little doggy. It's on 11 count. Um... Yeah, I mean, I was doing, I was doing partial stitches for one of my first projects. So yay! The other thing that I found, this was in the drawer. Wow, the uh, pin is very crooked. Huh. Interesting what we find that are like distractions. Um, but uh, I had done a few Millhill kits before, and so there's this, there's this little bunny. It's on a, it's on a slightly off-center pin, but it's got a little, it's got a little button and some beads. The beads right here, they're like on loops, so they kind of move around. It's got little matte beads, cute little bow. Um, I think I had done. Uh, I can't remember what I did for my mom, but I want to say maybe it was, maybe she got an egg. I don't know. And I know I did one for my mom and one for my sister. But now I can't really remember. Oh, they're little French knots. I forgot about the tail with the French knots instead of the beads. <laughs> um, so one thing I found with um, the little perforated paper kits is do not get them wet. This should be self-explanatory because paper, paper and wet, like water, not a good combination. But I had had this one little, uh, I think it was a, a crescent moon. Uh, it was really cute. I liked it. And I wore it as a, as a pin and I forgot to take it off. And it went through the wash. And then it was a big soggy mess. And I tried, like, laying it flat to dry, and it, it was ruined. It was completely, 
it was completely ruined. So I, I know I threw that one away, but this one's been in, in the drawer here, which I guess I'll just put it back in the drawer because I don't know what to do with it. Um, so that was the finishes. And then let's see. I guess I will do um, the... Uh, I guess I'll do what I've, I've worked on. Um, I've, I had tried to do the nano stitch mo thing where I was going to do, I was going to work on 50 things in a month and that didn't work. And I can't remember what I worked on. I don't know. I have it written down. I was just like, yeah, I don't really feel like it. Um, but let's move that out of the way. But some of the things that I worked on, were, um, I'll move the needle minder, um, was Faces of Fairy 99, because she is part of the very long-term project, and that ain't gonna stitch itself. So I got the bright idea of, hey, I'm gonna stitch all of the Faces of Fairy that Hate has charted, and granted, at the time, there weren't nearly as many that were charted. I was like, okay, I'm going to do them all on 22 gal Hardinger and two strands and full crosses. And yeah, I think this is great. So I, I started with, with this one. And she's actually not that much far from being done. Um, let's see, I've got this many with a bunch of stitches. And then I have this many more that have like a few stitches anywhere up to like 107 or something like that. So I'm slowly but surely working on them. Um, I'm currently working, um, I currently have uh, some of the uh, 939 that I'm working on. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, post-nasal drip from allergies. I'm not sick. I'm just, I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> like, there is not a season that does not have seasonal allergies. And even when it's not a season, there's dust. And, yeah, so, there's that. But, yes, um, if you go on uh, Facebook and look up The Very Long Term Project, that's me. And this is the first one. And I see this a lot. I see these eyes. And they, can, they say, work on me, work on me. Work on me. And, of course, I have a little Maleficent even though she wasn't named Maleficent, Needle Miner, and I think she's adorable. And I blame the Stash Queen for the whole Needle Miner thing, because I'm like, oh, I don't need to use those. I don't use a frame or anything. So, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, she kept saying what she had, and I'm like, oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's adorable. I want them. <laughs> so I got in my, I have like six of them now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Okay. So, I know I had, um, started this for, uh, I know I had done this for one of the days of Nano Stitchmo. Um, this is the Bewitching Cross Stitch book. Um, and I had, I do actually have another finish. Sorry, I, I have three finishes I have to get to show you. So, the thing of it is, is that there's this picture. This really cool looking wizard. And I love the fact that's a bead. The wizard has a nose ring. How cool is that? And this particular little bit, which you can see, it's a crystal ball. And it has, in the original model, it has a castle. Well, if you flip over, there's four more possibilities. There's an owl, and a unicorn, and a dragon, and, of course, a castle. And, hmm, well, and if you'll note, the, the dragon originally does not have purple French knots. This will become important in a minute. So I was like, I can't decide. I really like that wizard. But, which, what, what do I want him to look at? I don't know. Because maybe he's spying on the castle. Or maybe he's trying to find a unicorn. Or he's looking for his mail with the owl. Or, you know, dragons, it's kind of important to keep an eye on them. So I have no idea. 
So I was like, wait a minute. I have some silkier solos that I, I think I got them in a lot on eBay. They have opalescent thingies in there. Yes, let's go with that. So that's what I did. I had four of them. I still have two more that I... Oh, duh, it's right here in front of me. So I still have... I still have these two. Uh, they're, they're, I don't know if you can see. But they have the, the opalescent stuff. Um, I think I'm going to use this one, the lighter bluish one for the castle. And this one, for I have unicorn written on here. I think that's what I want to do. I'm not entirely for sure. But we're going with that for right now. So, of course, me being me and loving dragons, the first one that I did was the one that should have been in the finishes, but it was in, it's been in this bag, is uh, this little dragon, because me, dragons. You can see the opalescent in here and all these beads. And, yes, yeah, so you can see how I was talking about the purple French knots. Well, I couldn't quite... I, I, I got this stuff. It's like a braid thing. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I'll use this for French knots. I don't know. I like it. I like it. It's my dragon. <laughs> my dragon. So that one's been finished for a while, which, of course, is why it should go and finishes. And so I, of course, had gone on and started another one. And obviously, I didn't start the unicorn or castle no I, I picked the one that had the most gray to it and I had started um, this owl and I had had like a little bit and then there was in stitch mania there was the color a day um, stitch along which is going on all year long and for October it was opal of course I'm like opal I don't have anything that's opal colored and I'm like but none of this is really I don't know and then I remembered opalescent fabric <gasps> That'll work. So, of course, I used it for that. And I had gotten a little bit further on... I had finished out the strings, well, the flosses that were trailing, with the white gray and the gray and the other gray. There's a lot of gray in this. And that had started a little bit of the navy, the 336. And then I came to the color a day for November. Huh. Looks like school's out. Huh. Um, and... It was citrine. Well, I guess technically it should be topaz, but whatever. I don't care. It's yellow. And I'm like, oh, the moon is yellow. That'll work. So um, on the 15th, yeah, the 15th, I did the color day stitch along. And I was like, I'm going to do all the moon. And there's a little bit of yellow for the eyes. So I did that. And I'm like, well, why don't I just go ahead and do all the 336? I was very tempted to uh, continue but I was like, no, no, I have to get back to, I have to get back to 99. So there is, you can see the opalescent, and it's kind of hard to tell in the in the camera. But there's these beautiful purpley swaths and grayish blue. But, and then yeah, there's the there's the owl. Um, it's gonna be really pretty once it's done. Actually, they'll all be really really pretty and um. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I may, maybe I should finish them into a ball pool. I don't know. Of course, if I'd been thinking about it, it would have been really pretty to kind of do a bell pull of like it is on the cover. Just add the, of course, the dragon. Not this dragon. I would like to do that one eventually. But yeah, there are a lot of them in there that I like. And another one that I worked on for, um, partially for, did I? Yeah, yeah, I did work on it a bit for Nano Stitch Mo. And then I just decided that I wanted to try to work on it, which I'm very close to being done with the purple for this. I have, like... One row, not even a whole row, but like one more little row of purple left to do. And then I will be done with the purple of this. 
And of course, I preface this with, I don't like big blocks of color. And I cannot lie. Um, but, uh, Shiny Suns Gay Pride Heart. Um, and so, what I did, there's a lot. There's a lot of stitches in this. It's all one color for each of the sections. But it's going to be awesome. And this is being done for a very good friend of mine who used to be the music director slash organist at my church. And he's moved over to another church. Um, but I had dyed the fabric. Um, I asked him what his favorite color was, and he said blue. And so here is, you can kind of see it kind of looks like clouds. Um, but cooperate here, but yes, this is, this is how far I've gotten on the gay pride heart. Um, uh, I decided instead of trying to go, cause I had started with the green. I'm like, okay, I got to do this and go back. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Why don't you just outline them? Oh, I could outline them. And then I could just fill them in. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes, please. So I had gotten... Before Nano Stitch Mo, I had gotten that much done. Kind of looks like a weird bowl. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, but I was like, okay, so I'm going to outline that much. And I think I got like up to here and a little bit, a little bit in this corner. Because um, I had come down here and I had done a little bit and then come up. And then I decided um, for the Thursday he's having me come over and sing in their December holiday concert thingy. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this and I'm going to work on it on the parts where I'm not singing. Like when he goes over stuff with like the, the bare, the basses and tenors. Hey, cool. It's something that I don't have to, like, look continually at the chart. It's one color, blah, blah, blah. So I worked on it on Thursday during rehearsal, Friday night during the Stella game, um, the game where I'm playing Stella. Um, and then on Saturday morning um, for the, the rehearsal for that. And then I took it with me to Denny's, and I got a little bit more done while we were waiting for food at Denny's. And then I took it to the Sunday game where I played Tobin, and, um, even though with both of the games, I'm still recording what happens on the computer, but you know, I, I'm the note taker for both games. Technically all three, because I also take notes at my Pathfinder game. Anyway, so interspersed with that, when I would have a chance, I would pick this up and do a few stitches. And, and so I have just one more row left. This is 25 count over one with two strands for full crosses. And it's turning out really, really nicely. And I think that if you wanted to, you could use, like, you could pick six colors for the six six rows of the, of the rainbow. And you could pick, like, a variegated red for the red. And it would look really cool, I would bet. Like, you could even, like, possibly do, I don't know, go, like, you outline it. You could even outline it outline it in the original color and then you could like just totally randomly do I don't know you could totally randomly pick different colors of red and go there I don't know you could just do the outline you could do beads I don't know this this is a very forgiving pattern it's a very big pattern it's 200 by 200 stitches so you know this is gonna be eight by eight and I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to find like a, um, like one of those quilting hoops and I want to put it in the quilting hoop. Um, and that way I'll gather all the fabric behind it like that. And so it'll look like that, but no, you can't, you can't keep this hoop because this is, this is the hoop I like because it doesn't have a lip. It's old. It's an old hoop. I do not like that lip. That lip freaks me out. Where normally you would have a lip going, <sighs> I don't like that. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. So, my goal, one of my goals for today, including, um, I, I want to clean up my room a bit. Uh, there's some, certain things I want to clean up with my room. And one of them is, 
is get rid of the TV that no longer works that's still sitting right over there. <laughs> my dad had given me a TV when my other TV stopped working a couple years ago. And it worked for like two years, I think. And then it just stopped showing anything. Like there, there was no display. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. But it was free, so I can't really complain. Maybe it only worked a year. I don't know. Either way. So I'm, I'm definitely going to do this today. Um, bulk and brush is, is Friday. And I can put the things out anytime after the Saturday before. So I'm probably going to take that out. Let's see. So those are the things that I worked on. I know I worked on other things, but I don't know. I don't really remember where they are. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I just remembered. This is both a new start and one I worked on. So for the, um, for the Stitch Mania sales, they have a new start for 2017. So on the 17th of the month, you start something new. My hair is annoying the crap out of me. Because I keep getting distracted. So I had done this little desert little ornament. It's not really an ornament. Because it's not very really Christmassy. But this little piece um, that I used to hang at work um, in my cubicle. And it's a desert scene. It was really pretty. And then I came across this on eBay. I'm like, oh my gosh. This looks like it will go with it. I must get this. Which, it was from the same seller that it, I have a little haul from. Um, so I got that and the other at the same time. I'm like, ooh, I should start this for the, the new stitch along. And so I got this far with it. So, it's a little lady. I assume it's a little lady. The person? It's um, this blue and this gray. And then I got to separating the colors because they're very similar. I don't think they gave me a brown. Like, like have it right here. Um, but I, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot figure this out. So like it has this list. And so I was like, okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna attach them somehow. Okay, so I can put this all there. And it was really confusing because light rust, tan, beige, medium brown, light peach, they're all very similar. And unfortunately, I don't have a number of lengths provided, which on some of these wouldn't do any good anyway because you have one of this, one of this, one of this. I cannot find a dark brown. This is black. None of these look dark brown. What the ever living crap. I mean, green was easy to figure out because green. It's one color of green. Why I need five lengths of, of tan because as far as I can tell, that's the only part, and I had, I got two lengths of blue. I'm like, why did you include that much blue? You could have gotten away with one. I could have gotten away with one for almost everything. And that looks purple. That looks pink. They call that peach and that pink. I think you're very confused. So, I got only that much done on my start for the sow. And this is what I this is what I had kept the uh, little ornament, the little Christmas wreath ornament in. So, yeah. This was in the drawer at work that we got to 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 pick from from the rewards, although it Eventually, it turned into crap stuff, like a bunch of pens. I'm like, I don't need more pens. I don't use them enough. I don't want them. Anyway, that's a whole other story. So, uh, next, since so that was a new start, I have another two new starts because I'm insane. 
Um, I will preface this by saying that um, this one, which was the original one, um, I really liked. And I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. And then Michelle came out with the full size of, they're in black and white, so you just sort of have to imagine. I can't edit. I don't know how to edit, so I would put I would put them here or whatever if I knew how to edit, but I don't, so we're just going to have to imagine. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be an awesome campaigning piece to, this would be an awesome campaigning piece to this one. Hey, can I get this made into a story keep? Why, yes, I can. If I pay the $10, done. So the first one was Flowers, Flower Fairies Rest. And it's sort of pinks and really pretty soft colors. And then this was a companion piece. Um, sorry, Blue, Bluebell. I'm trying to say Blueberry. I'm like, that's not right. So together, the two of them will look awesome. Um, Flower Fairy's Rest is a little bit taller, but hey, whatever, right? So I had I had pulled flosses and things like that, and I had already I had already gridded the material. I'm using 22 count hardanger. Um, this one is oh okay yeah yeah. It's like, what one am I looking at? Okay, so here is it's a little leaf for uh, flower fairy flower fairies rest. So it's this this little leaf down in here, and then here is the the bluebell. Yes, we'll go. Oh yeah, I also worked on the um, Story Keep Evil Queen, which is already put away. Um, but she'll be she'll be back for the December Princess Stitch Along, the Disney Princess Stitch Along. Even though it's not Disney, but like it's more. And <laughs> that's one that I had gotten them to Story Keep and Minify and Quick Stitch. I was like, oh, I need that. I need that. I need that. Yes. Make it so. So I got them to do all those in, a, in addition to the full size. I have all of them. I have started the story keep and it's being done on 20 count black Lugana. Over one with two strands of pearl crosses, eliminating any black. Um, I may go ahead and do a uh, tent stitch over top so that it looks like it's stitched. But that's what I'm going to do with heel or such as well. So so these will go away for a bit probably. I don't know. I just wanted to start them. I don't care. And so then we come to um, a bit of haul. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of haul. And then the proposed starts, or what I want to work on, or essentially what I want to work on. So, I had forgotten about this, and this was originally in a, in a bag that the, I don't know, there was something funky with one of the handles, I'm like, mm. it like got powdery and like, ugh, it was gross. So I tossed that bag, because, ew. I didn't really use it other than to keep these in. So once upon a time, my best friend from first grade that we met on the bus to first grade, she was having her first baby who she didn't know at the time if it was a boy or girl. But she decided she was going to do the nursery in carriers. Some people are like, oh, carriers. It's like, what? Carriers are awesome. So... At the time, Walmart was still selling kits of a decent nature. And so I was like, oh, Care Bears, there's a bunch of Care Bear kits. I can stitch them all. 
See, even then I have a solution. This is back in 2004. So I got all the kits I could find. There were eight of them of the regular scenes and then three of the Christmas scenes. And I started one and I was stitching away on it. And I realized that it was highly unlikely that I was going to get them all done and framed, which you can kind of see over in here. There's a plastic bag over there with a bunch of frames in it, <laughs> which is what I got at the same time. I don't know what I'm going to do with these now. I may turn this into a quilt because he was, it was a it was a boy, and she decided, no, I'm not going to do Care Bears. I'm going to do clouds, but not Care Bears. I'm like, okay. So I never finished them. And the first one, I was really far along. Like here's the here's the one that I started first. Oh, I forgot. The Jackson Hole thing is still open. Um, if you've ever, if there was a, if you heard a siren just now. It was the Jackson Hole Town Square uh, live feed. I love that particular live stream on YouTube because it's awesome. It's just a, it's just a, uh, an intersection. And you see people walking around the intersection in cars and things like that. And they have sound to it, and I forgot. Oh, well. So... Back to my story. I was like, why is there, why is there a siren? Oh, it's a Jackson Hole. Sorry. I get a little distracted sometimes. So, I had gotten to, there, all this is, all that white is stitched. I'm like, I don't want to stitch that white. Eh. Now, I may actually go and just do, like, I may decide to, um, do 10 stitch of white. I was almost finished this, with this stupid bear. And the reason why I say this stupid bear, because I lost the white, grayish, blue, almost white color down here in the clouds. But yeah, Funshine Bear is almost done. There's like, there's only a tiny bit of back stitching around the butterfly and the eyes and stuff. Literally, that's the only thing that's holding me back. I'm like, okay, well, crap. So, oh, and there's some around his little sunshine thing. I'm like, well, crap. Hey, don't the other kids also use that same stupid color? Yeah, that'll work. So then I started the second one. Uh, there was also a bib that I did do. I don't know where that bib was. Did I show you the bib? Yeah, the, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did. It was it was the Lucky Bear that was in a bib. And that's the Lucky Bear pattern. Which, no. So I decided the next one that I would do, which it looks like it's that same color, is the Lucky Bear one. Very cute. I have not gotten uh, hardly any done. But you can see it's, there's the face. And so, eventually I will get through them all. Because I've got a bunch of them. Bedtime bear. Cheer bear. I don't know, this is very happy. Cheer bear. And wish bear. And sheer bear sitting on a cloud. And then Love a Lot Bear. And Tender Heart Bear. And those were the ones that those were all the ones I thought they had. Turns out there were more, which I'll get to those in a minute. Um, I knew I knew there was at least one scene where there were three bears decorating a Christmas tree. And then there's a couple other ones. It's cool to care, and then Tender Heart Bear with a Santa or not Santa, a snow person. Some of them say snowman, some of them say snow lady, I don't know. But I did get three, I had gotten three of the Christmassy, wintry ones. So, Funshine Bear on a sled. Bedtime Bear walking around in some snow. 
with a Christmas hat on and a Christmassy star. And Cheer Bear with some lights. So I decided I was going to poke around on eBay because that's always a great idea when I do that. I'm being sarcastic in that particular instance. But I found that I didn't have them all. I didn't have all the regular bears. Well, I had to remedy that. And there were two of the regular ones, and then there was like the It's Cool to Care and the Tenor Heart Bear with the Snow Person. And then the big scene where they're decorating the tree. And I think there was also, there was a fur sampler and another bib, which was, I think was Tenor Heart Bear, and a stocking. That's right. There was a, also a stocking and a growth chart. Did I mention a growth chart? Anyway, so I got another couple. Because, because I have these, and of course the other ones. No, no, we're going to get the whole set, because this is Sarah I'm talking about. Sarah has to have the whole set, because it, it will bother me. It will. It will bother me. Sets, I have to have sets. I mean, it's just, like, if I start a box if I start collecting a series in a box set kind of thing, like season one, season two, I need to get them all because it will bother me. Like really be like, I know even if I forget and then I come across it, I'm like, I don't have this. Like I have, um, three kits that I found on eBay. Uh, there were bothy threads and they were these fairy tales, but they're not like the cutout fairy tale things. They're, they're, I'll, I'll have to find them. I'll have to find them and show you or something like that. But I have three out of the four, and I have no idea where to get the Cinderella one. I can tell you it's the Cinderella one I need. Yep. So, anyway. Um, the first one that I got, um, I was like, oh, no, the seller's at 99.9%. .9%. What's wrong? And I'm like, no, this looks like a, a decent person. This looks like a decent the feedback was a little no, um, so I got this and the um, the Adobe one, the little little Adobe one from the same seller. Grumpy Bear. This one almost kind of looks like Christmassy, but I I have no idea if I'm gonna. I may not stitch that. I don't know. The other one that I got was, I don't even remember Harmony Bear, but, you know, whatever. It it's, goes with the rest of them. Harmony Bear. <laughs> so, I have absolutely no idea um, if I am going to get around to stitching these anytime soon or whatever. I mean, I would definitely like to finish Stupid Funshine Bear. Speak of losing that thingy. Oh, no, I was forgot. Sorry. So, I was using, um, for my wart jar, I was using one of those stitch along, or stitch in inside thingy mug. Um, but then I realized, well, I can't keep using this because I'm going to use the mug to actually be stitched and for, you know, a thing. <sighs> I need a new one because even though I haven't gotten that particular one to the, to my friend, eventually we'll get to him. So, which is why it wasn't really, I forgot to put in the finish this video. Um, that requires an explanation that's longer than I've really feel to care to ramble on about right now. Um, so I decided this is actually a, uh, a candle holder thingy. It's glass. It's very heavy. It's from the, the party light. Party light? Yeah. So I have my little orts. It's very heavy. It doesn't get knocked over because I was using a plastic cup and it kept getting knocked over. I'm like, oh, I need like a mug. I don't really want glass. <laughs> so I went with that. So. 
Yes, I was using a binder clip to hold this together. So I have a bunch of, I've been collecting magazines over the years. This is not what I want to do, but this is what the magazine looks like. This is from the, the February 2015 Just Cross Stitch magazine. I don't get the I don't get any magazines anymore because this was the last one I was getting in the paper quality and the project quality. I feel have gone downhill. Like the paper feels very, very thin to me. I remember it used to be a lot thicker, a lot nicer. I hate that they had gone to um colored patterns. I'm sorry, no. Just no. So, I don't have fabric yet, but I want to stitch this, which is Orchid Intrigue, a kaleidoscope design stitched in simple over dyed floss. And it's into a table mat. I don't want to do a table mat. No. But, so you can see it straight on. Um, I had gotten this, it's a little hard to see, but it's, it's metallic and. It almost looks like reds and blues and I don't know. It's pretty. I'm like, this is pretty. So I'm going to stitch this. And I think I may want to do this for somebody, but I don't know. This just strikes me as yes, I do indeed want to stitch this. And I'm not really sure, I, I was looking at my stash of, of fabrics I've collected over the years, and I can't, like I used to get like just random containers of fabric. This was the second one I pulled out, which is the 28 count pure Irish linen. Even though I don't do linen, this might be a thing to use for the linen. So I don't know if I want to use this one, or if I want to use this one, which is the 32 count pure irish linen but the thing that cracked me up which totally cracked me up was the wakama price tag we haven't had wakama here in the Roanoke valley since 2000 it closed in 2000 <laughs> but yeah i still have something with a wakama tag on it yeah $2.99. irish linen or sorry 279 mm-hmm that's vintage. So I'm I haven't decided which one that's why I haven't started it yet. I haven't decided which one I want to stitch that on. I kinda of almost think the 28th, but then I'm like, I don't know. So I had found I had, I was of course in the stitch media group and somebody had posted um that they had found this particular one um stitched up in a ow. Sorry. Like, like, just start going owies. Um, I can't sit for that long without it starting to, to go. Um, but they had found that in a shop, and it was like 25 and they just didn't have the money at the time. So I, of course, being me, decided I was going to poke around on the eBay, because, yeah. And so I found it, and then I found it in, like, a lot with other ones. I'm like... Ooh, these are pretty. I like them. And it wasn't that expensive. And then I found the nativity that done by the same designer. I'm like, oh, ooh, I like that. Yes. Hey, Mom. You remember when you gave me the Cirque Garnet nail polish last year? Except I bought it first so that you know, it would be, it, we wouldn't, like, not be able to get it. And then you just paid me back, and then you gave it to me for Christmas. Want to do that again, but with cross stitch? Okay. So I sent her a picture, and she really liked it. It's a nativity scene where it's, like, six leaflets, and it's the Holy Family. It's these funky frames that sort of, I don't know how to explain it. But, yeah, so I did that, and I got the, the lot of seven um, Marbeck Angels. And this one, the Shalom Angel. I love the, the whole multicolor ones. And like, 
I was trying to figure out, is this frayed? Is this, what is this? Because all it says is acrylic, and it has the things, and it doesn't say what they are for the most part. So I emailed them, and I'm like, hey, um, what is it? Turns out it's blending filament, unless it's specified, because it, in the olden days, that was the only thing that Krennic made. Krennic, whatever, made. So, shalom, angel. And so I decided that I wanted to do this for a friend of mine, um, because they have a shalom tattoo, which if yeah, I haven't told them, so if they see it, then they'll probably will. Forget I said anything. You know who you are. Anyway, so this was one of the first pieces of fabric that I dyed, which obviously this is not going to be big enough, but this is for color purposes. Not the brown or the turquoise, but this is a gorgeous sort of like sagey green. I think this would be gorgeous on that. I think she will just pop and sagey green piece color. Yes, I likes it, precious. And mom agreed. I was able to get most of the, the floss. I don't think, I think I need to find white. I, need to, I think I need to get white. I know I need to get the, um, the blending filaments and stuff because I don't, I don't have. I think there's like two, four. There's 10 blending filaments. Well, one of them says number 8 braid, and one of them says number 4 braid, but it's 002C, which is gold cord. Which, I'm sorry, that's not braid. That's cord. But other than that, there's silver high luster, gold high luster, purple high luster, don't have any of those, copper. I think I have the copper high luster blending filament, but not just regular copper. Hmm, wait a minute. That little box of sparkly things. Now that's a braid. Oh, wait. I got the high luster and then I got the. Wait, 21? Maybe I. I can't remember. This is a high luster. Oh, wait. I do. Ha I think I have. Ooh, I have the. I think I have the Alistair. Oh, oh, one L. Oh, never mind. Anyway. But, uh, Fuchsia High Luster. I know I don't have that. Turquoise, Pearl. Now that one I do have because I love the 032 Bunny Pimlet. I love the number four rate. Um, and then Star Yellow. Anyway, hmm. okay, I forgot I had that. Isn't it fun finding things you totally forgot about? Anyway, so I still have to figure out the uh, sparkly things, and it has beads, but I don't think I can get those beads, so I just have to figure out beads. And I have to figure out the fabric. I'm just going to go and get a big old piece of fabric from the... the even when you think these from Michael's or whatever and, and dye it that same sagey color. No idea when I'm going to start this. So I'm going to get off of here because, wow, it's almost 50 minutes. It's 48, 45. And so I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to finish the purple. Going to finish the purple. And... Then I'm going to clean some stuff up in here, and then I'll work on 99. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the turquoise. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the blue, because there's a little bit of blue here that I didn't finish the stitches. Whatever. Maybe I'll have one more. I don't know. Either way, I'll talk to you all later. I have no idea when. Maybe it'll be next Monday. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see what ha what's good. Um, but until next time, bye.